Turnover, bottom of the right circle. Walsh furrows away. Here's T.J. Walsh. Lobbies it back in deep. Riley St. Ange reverses Permix. Right corner, back in front. St. Ange, he's alone, and Barcheski with a bell ringer on the blocker. And a nice stop there early on Riley St. Ange. What a chance that was. As far as defensemen go in the USHL, Jones and Adderd are one and two in that department. Adderd 23 points, he's got 12 goals. That leads all defensemen in that category as well. Jones, as far as power play assists goes, he's number one in the entire league in that department. Here's Adderd, he can pull the trigger and scores! Don't leave that man alone, it's Ronnie Adderd, a power play goal, and it's one nothing Storm. will fly his way in on the forecheck. And now it's Booty again on the backhand. Feathered back deep. Mancinelli had his puck red. Now turned over in front. Here's Forsmark and Durney with the stop in Madison. He scored once the night before. Mac Melcher had that power play goal. He's out there now. And the Bucks win a face off. Here's Walsh, left circle. Down to the goal line, centers for Welsher. He scores! Another power play bingo for the Bucks. An answer from Mac Welsher, and it is 1 1. Didn't take long on either power play for both teams tonight. Great feed from Walsh and a quick release from Mac Welsher just inside of that left hash mark of the right circle. St. Ange couldn't get it deep once again. The Storm holding their own zone very well. Mike Kester, beautiful five-footer ahead. Ian Murphy winds it to the right wall, goes to get it himself. Here's Kester in the slot. He'll wind and shoot and score! Mike Kester with a blast from the left circle, and it's 2-1 Storm. Twenty-two to go here in the first frame. It's Johnny Russell galloping forward on Jones. Great gap at the red line. Starkov steps in. He'll find Fafrak right circle a shot. Russell gets it back and Barcheski with a beautiful glove save holding on. Furry right circle for a one touch up onto the backhand of Rosen. Right circle Furry. Right corner it's Booty walking away. Left circle across for Adder. He'll fire another block by Mancinelli. Well, there's no doubt that's who they're looking for Adder. But look at this, as here come the Bucs, shorthanded. Brown in front to Andrews, a second chance, they score! It's Nick Andrews, shorthanded. You just can't sleep on these Bucks when they're a man down, it's 2-2. Well, Brown had his hands in on that one. After a great chance was blocked by Michael Mancinelli the other way, Brown in front to Andrews, the first was a great stop. And the second went off of the skate of Andrews, but the question is, did he kick? And it sure didn't look like it from the replay. Quite a game so far tonight here from the Viero Center. Bucks have been down twice. They've come back twice, trying to take their first lead here. And they'll go on the offense as Malinowski holds and centers in front for a redirection by Walsh. Great stop, Barcheski on the redirect. Starkov will clamor over for a puck. Right wall turns it over. Here's Forsmark shimmying his way in. Lightning feet on Forsmark, trying to tread his way to the middle once more. Forsmark tries to go between his legs, and Manning absolutely flattens him, but now in front for Booty, and a great save, Durney on the blocker. Back comes McMenamin, drop pass right circle. This game starting to really liven up. One-timer look, Acosta, and Durney with a terrific glove save, hangs on. He had such a great beginning to the season when he started down in Lincoln. Since then, his... Kind of gone off the radar a little bit, but boy, has he been terrific tonight. But here's a chance the other way for Pinto to the back side for Ambrosio, and it's 3-2. Another beautiful entry by the Storm. Bounds his way forward. Ahead for Acosta, stretches to the right for McLean, tries to go back to Acosta. The puck is still there. Acosta spins, and a good stop, Durney, after a bouncing puck wound up on net. Deflected away, Ambrosio does scamper back for it, gets a turnover, nice connection now as it's Pinto on his backhand, back to his forehand, and Durney with a stunner, and a crossbar shot there from Ambrosio. Buck is in deep now, three players aside, Buck's trying to fish it loose, they do. It's Brown to the left point, waltzing to his right, Walsh, one-timer, Renlin, great block, it's still loose in front, 
Walsh shooting and a score. Oh my goodness, it bounces off of Barcheski. And the Buccaneers get a favor and it's 3-3. Another look at it again on Hockey TV. Walsh going to the top corner and Barcheski will want that one back, but the Bucks will take it however they can get it. There are roller coaster rides aplenty and we're seeing two of them tonight. And both of them with all kinds of implications for Des Moines. 3-3, Storm trying to get back to a lead. A great save, Derny point blank on Kinnear after a puck fumbled its way in front. Spilling his fours mark, it'll be three on two the other way. Lebster. Methodically in, drops it back for Andrews. He has trouble with it, and the storm might be off the other way. Here's a look forward. It's a breakaway, and it's Kester. He shoots, and Durney with a great blocker save. Durney's out of the net. Kester still got it. Kester on his caboose. And he'll linger around from Bricky, and now he'll march it in. Leaves back Pinto, back in front for Adder to his backhand, and Durney with a stunner on the pad. Oh, what a stop by Roman Durney. It'll be Brown on Barcheski to open up the shootout. Best of three, the lefty Brown to the right circle around the puck and scores! And a fiddle action on the way back to the bench from Matt Brown. And so the Bucks, with the proverbial hammer to start the shootout, they lead one nothing. Brendan Furry will be the first for Tri-City. Methodically in, fakes, gets Durney down, but a poke check from Durney shuts the door. Oh, that was all or nothing from Roman Durney as he was in about as unorthodox of a goaltending position as I've seen in a long time, standing up on his both feet, makes a great poke check and gives way for Michael Mancinelli. He scored last weekend shorthanded to put the pressure on. Mancinelli in, pad save, Barcheski. Zach Jones will go now for Tri-City. Can't say I'm surprised to see a D go on this shootout opportunity considering all the skill they have on the back end. He's smooth, he's crafty, this could be fun. Here comes Jones prancing in around the puck just like Brown. One too many moves from Jones and the puck gets away. And TJ Walsh with home ice on his stick. Should he score here? The playoffs will begin at home. Walsh to end it in the shootout. Stepping into the high slot to his forehand, he scores! The chase for Des Moines' first Clark Cup since 2006 will begin in Urbandale. TJ Walsh ends it in a shootout. And we're coming home, Bucks fans.